Thank you for your warm welcome, Michelle Day. Director, Director of Honest. She lives in Manhattan. Not part of New York City. And the topic she's going to be talking about is African American Science in visual theater. Now, I don't want to just go on any longer with the introduction. I'd like to give her a chance to start, but let me just give you a feeling of what the format would be. Um, she, did, she doesn't want you to necessarily hold your questions to the end. You can ask questions. Now, and, and I'm not responsible for this, but there's all the same communication. 
a young girl who, who has um, uh, a fantastic relationship with the first two saw, the son of the French person. And as she sees her imaginary friend. And they walk together and talk together and have a really strong relationship. And she loves this, this friend that she has, although he's just in her fantasy world. And soon she meets the real Tucson, a real person that she becomes she, she drops this fantasy. And that's the monologue I'll be showing to you now. They pay such the body rules and facial expression and rhythm. And these are examples of DSL. And I want you all to notice the continuous emotions that come through the movement, the attitudes of the characters. Now, this will begin, um, it was not very easy to see, it was very soft focus by the reason technology, these lighting techniques to emphasize the CS glass, but some of the legs will be able to see. And you'll be able to see um, the movement of the feet. And uh, you'll be able to see um, through the special steps. Did you spend a lot of time on this one? Yes, I did. Okay. Um,
she broke it in the way that last people speak. And so it was very difficult to translate. And I tried my best and tried to incorporate the black attitude and the, and the black way of being. And of course, um, I'm really not myself that's been in that place. So I tried my best. Maybe I should have had a consultant, a black person with a good attitude to help me out. See, translating it in Chinese is not easy. Because you have to be able to what about, Frank, you talked about the trend that you met before, not differently. Is that the same? The same? That sign language that I talked about, my second is not the same as the sign language I was using in this, in this play. It was like, that was a conversational sign, not the sign language I had, but it was very different than the sign language in the play.
the more involved you are, the white community, of course, the more, um, you know, I follow the school myself. I do all the education myself. Of course, I signed it. I mean, I admit that. I don't hang around with black people that much. But um, it's really an interesting group, and I want to live more and I want to be more of a part of it. I have you no know, living room behind in my life, but I don't really even know where they are or who they are. You're about the history of society. They're not out in public hanging out and signing. I have to keep my eyes shut and watch it in order to see what's going on in that community. Okay, so this is a black school and it's kind of Yeah. 
No, but maybe, maybe I'm on that, like, I don't know what past friends you have, you know. But I was, I was a little kid about it. But now, before, it's just like nothing, you know. It's, of course, it's a problem. But now, I used to be in the game, okay? I lost three friends, you know, their father, blood father, and everything. I don't live with my father, I live with my mother. You know, they're ready. Dave, here you go. Maybe you can ask me for my time. Yeah, yeah. For my time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Why is that? Right. 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 There's a more accumulated effect with the oppression that has been up over the years until now. It's not ready to explode. It's, really, it's not now. Maybe this is what the young man is saying. There's more rage now that, that the um, time is about to boil over. Because uh, black people have been suffering from depression for all these years. Now they say, hey, it's our turn. And I feel the same way with black death people now. Hey, I'm deaf person. I'm deaf person who set up a theater group. And I did that because of this oppression that we've been experiencing so many years got to end, it's time, it's been enough. And we need to prevent that. Now, black deaf people in the past um, didn't know how to start to rebel, but now they've started to figure out ways to prevent this discussion from continuing. Okay, one more. Okay. So we have to discuss what is black deaf culture? And I feel like it's a group of people who have shared similar experience, a black and deaf experience. You know, we here don't have much experience with that culture with those people. But I think that it can be applied to a similar example, another example. What is that culture? What is the Excel? And that is what we as deaf people share. I understand deaf culture. Language. But I can answer your question. I was just wondering, maybe other some people can answer. I'm just I'm wondering in general what your perspective is. That's all. It doesn't matter that you're white or hearing or deaf or black. I don't care. I'm just asking what is black deaf culture? If you live in the world, you have to see these different people. Maybe you've noticed different cultures that surround you. You know, maybe you have an opinion about it. I'm just asking what that opinion was. That's all. It doesn't matter really who you are. Deaf, black, hearing, white. It doesn't matter. I just asked some questions. If this is for your question, you're talking before there, you know, there were no problems. Mm -hmm. If black kids went out to school, there were one or two. You know, black kids were born this you know, they, they have been black people all throughout the country. They were hidden. They were hidden. They weren't out in the community. They weren't going to school. They weren't educated. That's changing now. Right, okay. Another question? You have to be careful with this. Hearing people tend to label deaf people as kids, they're all the same. You have to be careful with that, you know. All the <coughs> people are not all the same, you know. They may have certain sort of similarities within their group of you know, people, but you can't say black people are this, black deaf people are that, you know. You have to be careful with this. Right, because this is an ASL, but the CSL is that all the people in the United States as a parallel that all the people in the United States ASL. They thought it was a bad English. But right now, people are still calling BSL as bad ASL. When are we going to start accepting BSL as its own language and stop having this bad attitude towards it? I think BSL and ASL have this parallel. People are beginning to accept ASL as its own language, and I think that has to um, be applied also to BSL. We need to pull that up out of the country of health. I don't know if it's that culture and the hearing culture, but that culture also. But, um, suppose that, um, a person can, can be black and deaf, which culture would you feel most affiliation to? Or would you feel like you were in neither? Or would you have to pick, I suppose you have to pick one to belong to either the deaf culture or the black culture. 
Thank you. 